them, that's what they call me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a skincare collection. Now, before this video starts, I just want to say that I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape or form. I have rather a lot more skincare than an average 12 year old, but that's because I get it for like birthdays and Christmases and I also buy it with my own money. So basically this is all skincare that I bought or got for like birthdays and Christmases, like I said. And none of this is like PR because I don't get PR, which is really sad because I really want to get some PR lists. So basically, hoping from this video that I'll get on some PR lists, probably won't, but you know. Um, so I'm going to be showing you my skincare, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I have like my everyday skincare like on my Alex drawers. So basically I have the IKEA Alex drawers. These are not in, um, available anymore, so they were like £99 for a set of nine Alex drawers. And I keep like makeup, skincare in it and everything. So I'm not going to be showing you like everything. I've just been showing you my top two drawers. Because my first drawer is like for face mask and my second drawer is like my skincare products. So I'm just going to be showing you the first two drawers. So basically you just get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is the Garnier Skin Active Rose Soothing Toner. I really like this toner and I really like rose products and as you can see I'm nearly out and then for Christmas I obviously got the pixie rose tonic which I really like I have tried this I'm down to like here of it so I feel like this is going to be a product that I get through quite quickly and it's like 250 ml so I like that and then obviously I have my favorite cleanse ever which is the Garnier Mazella rose water cleansing glow I really like this product as you guys know I keep banging on about it so yeah and uh, okay so i want to start with my face mask so that's in the top drawer here so the first one i have that i got for christmas is the dr jar shake and shot face mask so basically you make this yourself and you get like different ingredients to make it basically so that's really cool and then i have a beauty ecology unicorn candy mask i have quite a few of those i got a set and then i have obviously my um generation clay mask my Sukin Pink Clay Mask, my Quick Fix Facials Rose Gold Peel Off, which I got from Amazon, I think. Don't know why, but I never shop for like beauty products on Amazon anymore. Then I have a Kiko Water Flower Magic one. Then I have a My Clarins Clear Out one. I have a T Zone uh, Pore Strip Patches. I have some more beauty ecology ones. Then I've got a simple 48 hour glow sheet mask in there. I've got a OK Beauty Sleep sheet mask, which is I'm saving this for the night before my birthday because I can never sleep on like birthdays and Christmases like the night before. I don't know why. Some people can, some people can't. And then I've got a um, simple de stress mask. I've got a anatomicals and de stress mask, which I got for Christmas. That's that chocolate one that I talked about in that video. And I got a um, Celisa Beauty primer sheet mask. I don't know how to say that. I think it's Celisa Beauty. And then I've got a Nivea um, refreshing face mask. Good morning. Fresh skin mask. And then I've got a Beauty Laundrette uh, Hydrating Sewer sheet mask. And then I've got a, a simple, this is from the Little Mix range. So this is the eye patches. And then I've got these Super Drug Cooper Cumber Cooling Clay Masks. And then I've got a aloe vera hand mask from Sephora that my mum bought me. Then I have a Garnier tissue bomb mask. Then I have a lychee face mask which I got from Sephora. Another hydrate and soothe mask. I've got another pore strip in there. I've got a Coco Star eye mask set. I've got an OK3 step mask. I've got a holographic sheet mask. I've got a pink sea minerals mask. I've got a pink aloe one. I've got another T-Zone nose pore strip and then I've got a what little mix and simple rich moisture sheet mask in there as well and I've got some more beauty ecology ones then I've got a mask bar animals one the unicorn one then I've got radiate and glow beauty laundrette mask I've actually got two of those then I've got a super drug super fruit mask and then at the back here I actually have some more clay masks so I have a Boots Cucumber Clay Mask, which is like a three minute mask basically. And then I have a box for a T-Zone Rose Gold Peel Off Mask, which is somewhere at the back, I think. I can't seem to find it right now, but if I get to that, I'll show you. Then I have a little sample of the SOS Hydro Clarins Mask. 
and then I've got a soap and glory masks I've got a monkey mask from Mask Bar and Animals which I have somewhere in here I know I have it because oh it's here and then I have just some more sheet masks really basically I have quite a lot of face masks like I said I have more face masks than an average 12 year old would have and I have quite a lot more masks to go I'm trying to like make my um sheet mask like really neat so basically here I have my revolution and Jake Jamie ones so starting off I have the if this comes out I have the feed your face collection so these are all from the feed your face collection I have like I have six different sets but I have seven because I have two of one you'll see what I mean in a minute so this is the coconut mango and chia seed mask by the way this smells absolutely amazing I got that that was my first ever Jake Jamie mask that I got so yeah and then I have the dragon fruit mask which I never really use but it is really good then I have the watermelon one that I got for Christmas which I haven't used yet because I currently have one on the go which I have here and as you can see it's almost all gone like I said in my work up for Christmas video then I have the chocolate mask which honestly smells amazing and I've hit the bottom of it because I love it so much and then earlier in the year when we were in like lockdown I ordered two of the revolution websites so I got the strawberry donut one which smells amazing literally it's my favorite one probably that i have and then i also have the toffee apple one which i really like and i'm getting the mint chocolate chip one for my birthday i think when well, it's on my list but i hope i get it i really like the smell of this it smells like caramel and i love caramel ice cream like salted caramel oh my god it's so good so yeah and then i have another mask that i got from the body shop this is the almond um milk and oats mask that i got for christmas which i have used on christmas day and it's actually really good i haven't used it since but i might use that soon and that's basically all for my face mask really i have got quite a lot of face masks oh here's that t-zone mask i was talking about that i have the box for this is just the brightening vitamin c 50 ml mask so basically most of my masks are actually sheet masks but like i prefer the ones that you can like keep, keep reusing so that's my face mask draw and now i'm gonna do my skincare draw i have a lot of skin hair oh gosh we're gonna be here for a while so prepare yourself so first of all i have the farsali unicorn essence serum i have a sample of the wishful yo glow enzyme scrub which i got from look fantastic i think or for you i can't remember then i have a sample of the glossier milky jelly cleanser which i haven't tried yet but i've heard really good things about then i have the nivea micellar cleanser i've got the sucking moisturizer i've got the elemis cream cleanser i've got a pixie glow mist basically i've got a remove sample of the um clarins milk i've got a sample of the hydrating cream and then i've got obviously the full size and i've also got the sleep mask there as well and then i've got the cerave moisturizing cream then i've got the soap and glory total drama clean micellar water i've got the garnier micellar water i've got the beauty laundrette face spray body shop vitamin e face spray i've got the e cooking serum i've got a spr moisturizing cream i've got a mud mask the eye serum I've got a purifying cleansing gel for my Clarins. And then I've got a Florence by Mills Dreamy Dew Moisturiser. I've got a Florence by Mills Look Alive Eye Balm, which I bloody love. And then I've got the Florence by Mills Glow Yeah Lip Oil as well. So I also have the Florence by Mills Zero Chill Face Mist, but it's downstairs. So yeah. And then I have the Super Dark and Naturally Radiant Hot Cloth Cleanser, which I haven't tried yet. And then I have the, um, these are from Disneyland when I went in 2019. Well, that was a long time ago. I got these like body washes. I have a, quite a few of those. And then I have a sample of that CeraVe moisturising cream. And then I have the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I've got the Elemis Cleansing White. I've got a Body Shop Chamomile Cleansing Butter, which I got ages ago and i have used it before let me have a look i've got like makeup in it though it is good though and then i've got like both of the revolution jamie mists 
So I've got the 30 AF Revitalizing Essence Spray, which I love. And smells really good. It just smells like lime. It just, I freaking love it. And then I have the Tropical Quench one, which is the obviously the coconut one. And it smells really nice. So, and yeah. And then I have the Superdrug Vitamin E Night Cream. I have a Boots Cucumber Moisturizing Lotion. I've got a flipping Primark Breath Spray, which I don't know why that's in there. Then I have a brush for my Spectrum brush. I have like a box for that, which that's what I was meant to say. Then I have the Mario Badescu Face Spray. And then I have a Nivea like body lotion, I think this is. Yeah, or no, Deep Moisture Serum. And then I have some things at the back. So I have a Nivea Day Cream, which I used to use every day for school. And then I kind of stopped because I found like loads of other really good moisturizers. As you can see, I have used quite a lot of this. As you can see, like, I got this for Christmas last year. And as you can kind of tell, I used to be obsessed with Nivea, like, this time last year. So, yeah. And then I got the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I've got some other, like... I've got like a cleansing cloth and I've got a little sample of the sleep mask on my Clarins and I've got this Clarins Blue Orchid Oil which I love so much. Why is that up there? I meant to put that back in my drawer. Um, and then yeah that's basically it for my skincare collection. Oh god. Okay guys so that is my skincare collection and I try to go through it as quick as I can because I don't want to make this video like half an hour long because I know that's a bit boring sometimes when you look at like a skincare collection for like long periods of time. So I tried to make this as quick as I could and I am getting a lot more skincare for my birthday. So I will do an updated one after my birthday. And I also have a Clarins Refresh Hydrating Beauty Mist, which I forgot to show you. Then I've obviously got my Sol Ibiza Dreams, which is my favourite scent at the moment. I'm going to give myself a quick spritz because it just smells amazing. Um, yeah, so that is it for my skincare collection. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below your favourite skincare brand. Mine is definitely like Florence by Mills or CeraVe. So basically, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash that subscribe button. And thank you for 66 subscribers. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.